for over 20 years, your number one source for local professional wrestling entertainment. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm right. We got the VCW Live Wire Countdown Top Matches of the Year Part 2 to get Part through. Part 2, 6 through 12 of the top matches of 2013. I can't believe it, Chris Charisma. What a year it's been for Victory Championship Wrestling. That's right. 2013 was definitely, definitely a banner year for Victory Championship Wrestling. Of course, Matches of the Year, as we mentioned in Part 1, is not the only category that all you VCW fans have to vote on. As a matter of fact, one of the categories and one of the reasons why 2013 was such a banner year for VCW is because of the training seminars we had. So you can actually vote on which trainer you thought was the coolest if you were participating in that training seminar or if you're just a fan and like those particular trainers. We're talking Devon Dudley, Al Snow, of course the underground king Slick Wagner Brown, and not to mention Nunzio. And you took the words right out of my mouth. The uh, little Guido himself, Nunzio, also a training seminar instructor as well. But that being said, those are other polls that we're talking about. On this show, Sean, we are going to be counting down or continuing to count down the rest of the top matches of 2013 for VCW. But before we start with that, fans, let's take a look at what you missed on part one to get caught up. Well, the oh, there, was there a blind tag? There was a blind tag made by the other convicts. Was there? They spray, spray by the fabulous one into the eyes of the convict. That was the perfume he pulled it out of his pocket. He pulled it out of his pocket. Oh, my! Leg drop off the top. Closer than that, Sean! Does it? It doesn't! Kevin Quinn signaling that it was only a two count. Jason Rumble thinks he's got this match won. I think he's feeling it. He's feeling the heavyweight title coming back home, as he says. Can Mike, Mc well, can Mike McCarthy fight off whatever this is? No, I don't know. Here it is. It is the... Matt! Oh, no! Back. It's the CTFO! And when he knows how to use them, when you're facing him, you need to be watching both feet at the same time. Prophet, again. Ooh, just knocked the taste out of Prophet's mouth right there. The telegraph out. Oh! Spinning landing Spin. wheel. One, two, and he got it. Jeremy Prophet with the victory. Now you're all caught up on part one of the top matches here in VCW for 2013. And since you're all caught up. Well, since you're all caught up, we're going to be continuing this countdown 
We're going to start off number six, which is Brad Hollister versus Cody Ward. That's right. Two young upstarts here in VCW trying to make a name for themselves. Essentially, really newcomers here to VCW. We, they end up getting put against each other, and they put on a match of the year quality uh, matchup that made our countdown, made our list. And, of course, after that, also from the same event, we're going to see Mike McCarthy defending his heavyweight title yet again against the dynasty, Bo Douglas, and a rematch from what you saw on the first part of the countdown, the first time Douglas got his title shot. Well, both of these matches are from our show, Fight for Freedom. And both of these matches definitely were a fight. I can't say they were a fight for freedom, though. Well, that's, I guess, an open term, if, however you want to use it, but... Let's take a look. Let's get right into the countdown, picking up where we left off at number six. It's Cody Ward versus Brad Hollister. From Fight for Freedom at the Belt Time Club in Wakefield, Mass. <laughs> we are on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Bell Time VCW. And what a way to kick off VCW Livewire here. This week, it is Cody Ward against Brad Hollister. And these two are oh, you know, testing each other out a little bit here. They're definitely sized up really well right now. It's any man's game. Going round and round. And I'll tell you, Hollister's got a bit of an intimidating look to him with all those tattoos. and Brandon the face Hollister. Hat. Brad Hollister. Brad Hollister. Cody Ward. And they're starting off with a test of strength. You don't see that too often. Usually collar and elbow tie up to lock up and start up a match, but no, this time they're going to lock up with a test of strength. And Hall oh, they both tried the same move. A little bit of a tit for tat on that one. Don't tell me these guys are going to be sportsman like. Yeah, I know how much you hate when guys are actually sportsman like. Well, that's what about BCW. You can have good guys against good guys, bad guys against bad guys, or bad guys versus good guys. It doesn't matter. VCW is about competition right here on Livewire. And collar and elbow type. These two jockeying for position. These are very evenly matched competitors in terms of size and strength. I will have to agree with you right now. It's any man's game. They're testing each other out right now. And they're back and forth, jockeying for position. And now Hollister has Ward back into the corner. Referee looking for a clean break. And we got a clean break. There you How go. How long is that going to last? And a little bit of show of respect there on both sides. And now trying to drop down. And Cody Ward able to slide away. And now another collar and elbow tie-up. Cody and Ward two. has got a couple of victories here in live wire. He's got a name for himself right now, but it's the first time we're checking out Hollister here. And there's a side headlock applied by Hollister, who definitely looks like he can hold his own in the squared circle, that's for sure. Cody Ward is not a newcomer. He's a newcomer to VCW, but not to the Matt Wars of New England. He knows what he's doing in there. But just imagine, he's the baddest guy to ever come from Hampton Beach, man. That says a lot right there. I say that I've been around for some bar fights in Hampton Beach. It can get pretty nasty up there. Shoves him off the ropes, and oh, Hollister explodes with a shoulder tackle. I thought you were at the arcades all the time playing skee ball. I think Ward was a little taken off taken off guard by that. I don't think he expected that kind of uh, power display oh, from Hollister. Oh, now the crowd's getting into this right now. I tell you, this is, I, I really don't know which, which way to go in this one in terms of who's got the edge. And Ward with the, with the side headlock now. And Hollister sends him off the ropes, drops down. Oh, shoulder tackle by Ward. I know. We're trying to Both men testing each other right now. You're watching BCW Livewire. Remember, folks, when you go home, when you get on the Internet, you can watch all the episodes on YouTube.com backslash Belltime Productions. But you only need to watch the ones with, with Mark Green on commentary. But in any event. He just started back up, so you got a lot of great episodes to watch without him. I suppose you could probably catch up. And now Cody Ward sends him out of the corner into the other side, charges in, but Hollister over the top, a little agility there, and whips him over in a side headlock takeover. I, I will have to say, this is good competition. I am used to the bar, I am used to the brawls, and all the rule breaking and everything, but this is good classic competition right now. I'm impressed by Hollister so far. I gotta tell you, this kid might have a future here in VCW. And now both men back to their feet now. Cody Ward able to get back to his vertical, and that's going to alleviate some of the pressure off that headlock. And now he slides out into a go-behind. And now trying to get to the ropes to break the hold, and he shoves him back into the corner. And now Irish whipped out of the corner, reversed by Ward. And Ward outthinks him there. He tried to do that again. 
Oh! Nice move, nice move right there by Cody Ward. And now he follows up with the side headlock takeover. And oh, Hollister rolls him over into two almost. And I don't think Ward expected that one. He looks a little surprised. These guys are, uh, I don't know. Why don't right. you hang out with him, Mark? If you like him so much, why don't you go out and get a beer after the show? Oh. You guys go to a movie or something. Ward ducks behind. There's a lot of things to do in Hampton Beach. There's a lot of fun activities yeah, to Yeah, I'm sure. In. You love to do the Hampton Beach stuff. And now Hollister pushing him back into the corner. That's right. Right now. Referee trying to get the break. No. Whips him out. And now follows him in. Close line. And now he's going to send him out again on the other side. And Ward fouls as he staggered out of the corner. Hollister nailed him with the lariat. It's a back and forth game right now. It can be any man's game in this contest. And Kevin Quinn with the two count there, almost. A, I guess you'd have to classify it as an upset. But I think these kids are too nice. They're going by the rules too much. There needs to be a rule breaker. They need to make the game. Somebody needs to break in this match. And fans, as Cody Ward tries to fight back to his feet, we'll be right back with more action. break and while we were gone you got to check out some of the action that you missed while we were away huge move there and now we're back to live action and off the ropes oh he went for the slam but Ward slid out an elbow to the face of Hollister Hollister comes in and meets a knee right to the jaw and now drop kick by Cody Ward he is on fire right now this could be it it's over it's over uh, two count was all he could get Hollister still got some fight left in the tank the action is on fire right here on Live Wired today. I tell you, Mark Green, this contest is really incredible. The Hampton Beach bad boy now trying to find a way to put away his opponent. To this point, he's been unable to really get so sustained pressure on Hollister here. But now he's got an opening to do so. Spinebuster by Ward, and that might do it. There's the cover to it. Hollister kicks out again. You see, that's the problem right now. Cody Ward is thinking about Hampton Beach too much. He's thinking about the, the blonde bimbos with the fake breasts. He's thinking about putting the suntan lotion on. Well, He's great. Now I'm thinking about the blonde bimbos with the fake breasts. Thank you for that. It's about time. You've been watching these guys too much. What an opening contest we have this week on VCW Livewire. Now Cody Ward sends him off the ropes. Hollister ducks the clothesline. Now he's got him set up. He's going to try to go for the backslide. Ward breaks out of it. Hollister ducks Ward over with the sunset flip, and oh, Hollister grabs the legs with the cover to it. Hollister! Oh, ho, ho. Wow! What an incredible upset right there. That Huge was incredible. Winner. Brad Hollister with Hollister. the victory, and Cody Ward looks stunned. Cody I'm, Ward looks absolutely stunned, and I don't blame him. I'm a little stunned. I'm stunned too, man. I never heard of this guy, and he just walked out of live wire with a victory over Cody Ward. What an You can't beat him alone either, Jason Rumble. Did you hear that? Bo Douglas with the cover. We've done it all by ourselves, Mark Green. Yeah, all by yourselves as a group. Bo Douglas choking out McCarthy. I'm amazed the guy's still conscious after that shot. How is McCarthy going to concentrate when you got two guys taunting him on the outside of the ring? There's the His cover. His is all over the place. Bo Douglas at half a second away from the VCW Heavyweight Championship. McCarthy able to roll it over. And now he's got those legs viced, and now he's got the wrenching back on the neck as well. Oh, my God. McCarthy may have to tap here. This is a good submission move right here by Bo. I this is a good submission move. I haven't seen Bo with this one before. It's a surf Bo. Oh, all the weight right across.
across the back of McCarthy. And that's a lot of weight from Bo Douglas. And Bo thought he had him. Bo Douglas, a 20-year-plus veteran right now of the business from Somerville, Mass. He's the former BCW champion, long-standing in this company, very determined right here. Ever since he joined the Brotherhood, this has been a different Bo Douglas that we've never seen before. And right now, McCarthy gets back to his feet and the elbow to the midsection, and another one fires off. McCarthy off the ropes. Oh, knee to the midsection. Oh, he stall halts the action of McCarthy there. And takes an advantage again. That might have been a little low, actually. That might have been a little lower than the midsection. I'm not sure. Oh, boots across the eyes of McCarthy. Bo Douglas, since he's returned to VCW, has been absolutely focused like a laser on the VCW Heavyweight Championship. And now he's got his chance to capture that. He has got to put away the mass hole, Mike McCarthy, if he wants to accomplish that goal. Well, there's a reason why I call him a mass hole because that's what he is. He represents Massachusetts, and he's a hole. He's a mass hole. What kind of nickname is that anyways? That was very brilliant detective work there by you, Darkseid. Off the ropes, oh my God! Oh my God, Mike McCarthy with a springboard face, face buster, I guess. You don't even know what the move was. I've never seen it before. You've never seen a lot of things before. Outside in, senton splash, I've seen that one before. And McCarthy off the ropes, call for the cannonball. Oh, Douglas saw it coming. Nice move, nice move by Douglas. Douglas, te McCarthy telegraphed that when he called the move, and Douglas was prepared. Brilliant mat work by the dynasty. I think Douglas is going to. He's cut got him, him cover head. to it. Oh. McCarthy just able to roll that shoulder up. Charisma thought he had him. You see that? Charisma just did the three count. The match should be over. Well, Charisma knows how, knows how to illegally referee and fix the match, and he's done plenty of that in his day. Charisma's a genius. Oh, there's two phrases that have never been used together. Because you don't know how to give respect to these people. That's why I'm here. I give respect where it's due. The you haven't respected anybody. You keep calling Bo Douglas a piece of crap. I mean, that, that's, that's a, a biased opinion. That guy kicked opinion. me in the back of the head, Dark Side, when that's I wasn't looking. That's a biased looking. opinion, Mark Green. I have said nothing opinion. but Bo Douglas a piece of trash. That's a biased opinion. I'll tell you what, let them kick you in the back of the head and tell me how you feel about him afterwards. Bo Douglas, I, like I said, I don't like the guy, but you cannot take away from what he does in the ring. And an elbow to the top of the head of Mike McCarthy. That might be, that's, that's going to induce a concussion, that kind of shot. And he follows up with a straight right hand. And the Brotherhood, of course, Jason Rumble and Chris Charisma hanging out outside the ring, of course, just to witness the events. Bo follows him in with a clothesline, and oh my God, he took That's his hat off. That's a great move right there. Bo Douglas is in absolute control of this one, no doubt about it. Looks like he's got a little, little memento on the forehead of this match. It's over with right now. Douglas has got the match right now. It's Bo, all over with. It's, that's no the champion. Cover to it. No champion. I can't believe it. Bo lackadaisical did not hook the leg of McCarthy, able to roll the shoulder off. If Bo had took this a little more seriously on that pin attempt, he might be the champion he right now. He was one second away from reclaiming the title. And McCarthy now able to get a little separation between him and Douglas with those elbows to the midsection. And now he's going to iron. Oh, arm ringer there. Falls it in. Oh, T-bone suplex. Unbelievable by McCarthy. And that's exactly what he needed to allow himself to regroup. After the onslaught of offense by Bo Douglas. I give McCarthy credit on that one. That was a good move. And both men are down right now. Fans, I'm being told we have to take another commercial break. Not another break, one, not right now. We'll be right back with the conclusion you of this match me. on VCW Livewire. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back now. Bo Douglas making his way to his feet. McCarthy, both men took some time to regroup during that break. McCarthy, he dropped the shoulder. McCarthy went over the top rope, and now he's all the way up to the top. Oh, DDT! DDT by McCarthy, that's gonna be it. One, two, ah, oh, oh. How did Bo Douglas kick out of that? Because he's a veteran, because he's intelligent, because you can't beat Bo Douglas that easy. That's why.
Bo well, knows. There's been nothing easy about this match, that's for sure. And I don't know about how intelligent Bo You have to Bo admit that Bo Douglas And McCarthy, oh, shot to Chris Charisma. That's my favorite part of this match. McCarthy charges in, and oh, Bo Douglas has him locked up. Bo Douglas has him locked up. Oh, my goodness, I've never seen that variation from Bo. There's the cover. Two, we got to no, we don't. We don't have a new champion. I, she should have hooked a leg on that one. Bo Douglas thought he had, I thought he had the victory right there. Everybody thought he had the victory. I tell you, you have to admit, nobody gives oh, Mike McCarthy. McCarthy with a snap beer over. And he's got him locked in. He's got him no, locked in. No, he's no, got him locked in. No, no, no. If he can wrap those like, oh, wow. What the hell is this? We are seeing some innovative offense tonight here. It was a variation, a new variation maybe of his CTFO. Bo's tapping, Bo tap. I didn't see it, I didn't see it. Bo, oh, Jason Rebel takes a shot for McCarthy, the referee missed, Bo Douglas tapping out. If the ref didn't see it, it never happened. I'm losing my voice every time these two go to the match. That is the best news I heard all night. Kick to the midsection by Douglas, this might be it. He might be setting him up for the power bomb. No, McCarthy, CTFO, CTFO. Bo's, Bo's tapping! Bo tapped! Oh, you gotta be kidding Ladies me! Ladies and gentlemen, Bo Ninja Douglas Ninja has tapped Ninja out! Justice! VCW McCarthy wins! So Entertainment. This is professional Ooh. wrestling at its finest. And he drops all his weight onto that knee. And the twisted hatter, Alex Street, giving up a little size to Steve Beck. And that's the great equalizer to a size advantage to get your opponent down on the canvas. BCW carries the legacy of the CWA, the Century Wrestling Alliance, the NWA of New England, the National Wrestling Alliance. This right here is the legacy of the Boston bad boy, Tony Rumble, right here in the Rumble family, BCW. Absolutely, and now Alex Creed really isolating that knee and Steve Beck trying to, oh, interesting reversal by, what a, re unbelievable, what a reversal there by Steve Beck, I've never seen that before. That's when Jeff Byers should have came in and hit him with the book. Yeah, but then he would have lost. And then, yeah, but at least he wouldn't have got pinned. And he's got that rear chin lock, the referee making sure it's not a choke, and he's got the legs wrapped around him to prevent him from getting back to a vertical base. Creed able to roll out of the leg. The legs of Steve Beck and that. Nice move by Alex Creed right there. Able to break the, the chin lock and get out of the ring to collect himself. He's a himself. hungry competitor. He knows what he's doing, Mark Green. Absolutely. And it's Jeff any Ma man's game at this point right now. And really great action. Here comes Jeff Myers. Jeff he's going to consult him. See, this is what needs to be done right here. Coming over this is to what check. a good corner man does. Coming over to check on Alex Creed. Make sure he's got his Let him his read the breath. book. Don't Went let it, nobody should read that book. I keep trying to tell you, Steve Beck wow. over the top. Wow, they wow. almost landed on us, Mark Green. What a planche by Steve Beck outside in, and that may do it. Wow. Alex Creed has got to be out of it after that. I think he might have hit his head on the wall. This could be over. His head did hit the concrete right there. That was a very dangerous move. It could be all over right now for Alex Creed. Uh, yeah, he looks like he's out. Beck with the cover. One, two, and oh! Wow! Three. I don't know where he got it to kick out of that one. That was an impressive recovery by Alex Creed. Because there's another pow. There's something more spiritual controlling Alex Reed right now. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but he definitely has a spiritual sense. There's something inside of him that makes him nonstop. And back with the side headlock. Now trying to, Alex Creed back to a vertical base. That's where he needs to be. But Beck being the bigger man, able to exert a little more leverage and keep him in that hold. Backs him off to the ropes. Forearm to the face. What do you think, Big Dad? off Be the ropes. And, oh, oh, Jeff Myers grabbing the ankle and Steve Beck. Oh, come on, man. Why are you hitting little him bit for? A little of pie face. Oh. Yes, that's what I call a devastating drop kick. What? Right on the button right there. 
What awesome. a drop kick by Alex Green. Awesome. Textbook. Unbelievable. And be the Reaper's down. This may be it. This kid's got a heart of gold, man. Look at this. Second yeah. turnbuckle and drops <laughs> the like elbow to the face. There's a cover. It's all over. Two and no. Beck able to oh, kick come out. On. And Beck is absolutely in trouble, though. Alex Creed now again with the rear chin lock. And the fans getting behind the Reaper. These fans will never do nothing for you, I'll tell you that right now. The fans in the Bell Time Club getting behind the Reaper as he tries to get back to his feet now, breaks the chin lock. Now to an overhead. Oh, and he's got him locked in there. And now he's gonna swing that leg under and take Creed down. Creed doing a good job maintaining some kind of bridge here. I gotta say, this is one of the best matches I've oh, ever seen. Creed back this is to incredible. Vertical. Oh, pulls the hair. Creed breaking the rules as is his custom. Rolls him over into a crucifix to it. No. Wow. The action here is incredible. I gotta keep saying that. It is awesome. It's off the hook right here of the BCW live wire. Alex Creed. Oh, and the duck under by a Reaper. And a double, double clothesline. Double clothesline. They are both down. And the referee Kevin Quinn exercising his count now. That's the only time Kevin Quinn exercises. Well, that's just not nice. Why do you have to be like that? Who said I was nice? The nickname is the Dean of Mean. Hello. It's not the Dean of Nice. Maybe it should be. You would like that, wouldn't you? You would like me to get hit in my head and wake up and think I'm somebody else, right? I'd, I'd go Dean of Diet. That would be the way I would go. Yeah, let's not talk about Jenny Craig again. Steve Beck trying to get back to his feet. Alex Creed already to one knee. Whoever gets to their feet first might be able to put this one away. And it is Have you Creed. gotten taller since I've seen you last? Creed now. Has Steve Beck back in the corner, and he's holding him for Jeff Myers. And oh! oh, my God! Jeff Myers. What the hell just happened? He hit his own man. He hit what Alex the hell Creed just with the happened? shadows. What back. the hell just happened? Back to the top. Oh, oh 450 God. splash. One, two, Unbelievable. The Reaper Steve Beck with the 450 splash puts away Alex Creed. Unbelievable, man. What are you doing? I'm seeing if there's anything in here. It sounds like what I asked for for Christmas. Well, what did you ask for? I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, yeah, this is definitely it. I'm going to hold on to this. Does it got my name on it? I have my name on it somewhere. Well, get back onto the countdown. Well, you know what? Victory Championship Wrestling gives you the gift of professional wrestling this year. Charisma, I don't know what you're Each getting and every yet. month, each and every year, as a matter of fact. Uh, exactly. Well, we'll find out what I'm getting in a few minutes. But, uh... That was a great countdown we've gone into so far. We're almost actually we're about halfway through part two of this countdown. We want to remind each and everybody out there that's watching, you have the power to control the results of the 2013 top matches of the year for VCW by going to facebook.com forward slash bell time VCW and vote on what you think is the best top match of 2013 and rolling right along in the countdown Sean we're gonna go back to the summer sizzler tour this time it's the revolution stop at the bell time club in Wakefield Mass and guess who's got the match of the year this time again I'm not entirely sure you tell me it's the mass hole Mike McCarthy defending his VCW heavyweight championship this time in a very special matchup Against a longtime friend and foe, Jose the, Perez, the freaking Puerto Rican, who is on his way to retirement. One of his last four matches, he requested it to be against Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy said, "Well, if that's the case, we're putting the heavyweight title on the line." So Jose Perez could have walked out of Revolution and the Summer Sizzler Tour into the sunset with the heavyweight title over his shoulder. That he could have. Was so was that to be? We'll find out on this next matchup, on the top matchup of 2013. Let's take a look. That's right. Here we go. That is what being a ring veteran is all about. That's a move we haven't seen anyone find a cap before, but he did. And follows it up with a clothesline. He does gets that small little window and kicks the door right in. 
It's definitely one of the biggest challenges of Mike McCarthy's career for Jose Perez to return to VCW tonight and challenge him for the VCW championship. Absolutely, and this has got to be weighing on the mind of Mike McCarthy. He does not want to lose it to a guy who he knows so well, but he also knows is, is wrapping up a story career. And he's trying to get to the ropes, but oh, Jose Perez applies that, that iron almost. And he's telling him to tap, but he can't tap because he's got both of his arms barred. He's telling him to quit. And referee Kevin Quinn is right there telling him. Oh. But Jose Perez realizing maybe that McCarthy can't tap with his arms barred. Gets that shot to the head. Now maybe taking a second to catch some breath from all the action we've seen so far in this one. But now with the kicks to the chest, and McCarthy trying desperately to get back to a vertical base here, but unable to do so. First matches against Bo Douglas back-to-back, -back, and now Jose Perez. Oh. Can Mike McCarthy survive the summer sister and of tour? Course, that's following a long run with Jason Rumble as well. I mean, Whoa. Mike McCarthy's been in some real wars of late, and this one is no different. Now out to the floor, Jose Perez. I'll tell you. Oh, and he's got him up against the wall. I think there are imprints of McCarthy's body all over the Bell Time Club. And Jose Perez off the outside. Oh, he goes and ducks his head between the ropes where McCarthy meets him with that European uppercut. And he may have knocked Jose Perez clean out. Very smart move right there by McCarthy. He needs to capitalize on it right now. Looks the way there's the cover to it. Oh, I thought McCarthy had it one right there. But Jose Perez able to roll that shoulder off at the last second. Folks, don't forget to check us out online at bcwlivewire.com. It's a school by cover one. And McCarthy's got the ropes. McCarthy, a veteran himself, knows his ring positioning. Inside cradle, there it is. Two. Again, a two count, all he could get there. Charges in, and Perez drops the shoulder and dumps McCarthy over the top, but he holds on. And now ducks the shoulder and gets Jose Perez coming in. Now McCarthy's going to the top rope. Here it comes. Oh, DDT off the top rope. That's going to be it. It's over. Mike McCarthy it's is going to retain his to no. Wow. Jose Perez kicks out at two. Unbelievable. I thought that was it. CTFO. And calling for the finish of the CTFO, but no. Jose Perez reverses it into a cover one. Two. No, two again. Jose Perez again that close to walking out of here and maybe ending his career as BCW heavyweight champion. What a moment that would have been. But he fires off of that right hand, and now McCarthy returns serve there. And these guys volley back and forth with those right hands. Oh, what a shot. And another one by McCarthy. These guys, and now the knife edge chops. Exchange again in the middle of the ring between these two cops. Oh, and now Perez gets him off the ropes. McCarthy charges with the clothesline. Perez ducks. And now McCarthy ducks. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. Both men with the shot to each other's forehead. They're both out. Wow, they both just knocked each other out right there. They are both out of it. And the official begins his count. Somebody's got to get to their feet by tenor. This one's going to be a double countdown. And now, checking on both cops, tell them they need to get to their feet. Senior official Kevin Quinn calling the main event right down the middle, no doubt about it. We're going to take a commercial break right now. The action's going to continue for the BCW Heavyweight Championship. And fans, we're back, and you see the exchange. Both men able to get to their feet during the break just before the official had to throw this one out. And now they are back to exchanging fisticuffs. An Irish whip reversed by McCarthy, who follows him into the corner with that elbow. Beautiful, and another one. McCarthy, there's no finesse in Mike McCarthy's game. He's pretty straightforward. I got to say, both these men are evenly matched right now. They're going back and forth, each other giving each other his best. And Perez charged in and caught a boot to the face, and now he's got McCarthy up. And it looks like he was going for some variation. Oh, and McCarthy had the CTFO, but Jose Perez shoved him off. And oh! Almost a bicycle That's kick it. by Jose Perez. Perez is taking it home. Perez is taking it home. This That's may be it. it. That's it. This may be all she wrote. We could have a new McCarthy. champion right now, Mark Green. This could be it in the ring. Oh, wait a McCarthy. minute. McCarthy's locked in the CTFO. CTFO by Mike McCarthy. No way. 
Perez. Jose Perez is fighting. He's no trying to hold on, but this could be it. He, this could be it. No way. Jose Perez tried desperately. Oh, it taps. Jose Perez taps. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Mike McCarthy beat Jose Perez. Mike McCarthy retains the VCW Heavyweight Championship. Wow. What a hard fought contest. Another in the long line of great hard fought matches for the mass hole Mike McCarthy, but for Jose Perez, this may be the last in a long line of hard fought matches, and it is unbelievable to see the way these two men went at each other. And your winner, and still ECW heavyweight champion, Mike. The mass hole, McCarthy. Man, it does not get any wow. better than what we just saw. That's what I call a main event. Chris Charisma here to remind you you can stay involved with VCW by getting interactive on our website at vcwlivewire.com. You can like us on Facebook or you can follow us on Twitter. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Productions. Stay involved with VCW by getting interactive. Wow, we got some cruiserweight action right here on Live Wire. What a way to get the show going, brother. The return of Damian Darkside in a cruiserweight match. This is going to be the most historic episode in Live Wire history, Mark Green. And a handshake to start off. Good show of sportsmanship. Side headlock and Anthony Green with the reverse. Now, that was it. the first mate mistake they made, brother. You don't be handshaking. There's no friends in the wrestling industry. You of all people know that, Mark Green. Well, as you've heard, as you heard, these guys have a common alliance in the world of pop music, I guess. Colorado Give them about six months, they'll hate each other. They're new to the business. They haven't learned yet, brother. Wait, wait till they get into the politics. Well, now they, and they see another handshake. Oh, another handshake. I'm about to shed a tear. Come on. Good show get in sportsmanship. There. Throw some fists at each other. I want to see some wrestling. That's what I came here for. And there's a go behind the reversal roll up. Blocked by Anthony Green. Held the ropes. Went for the kick. Missed. Zigarino with a roll up to it. Almost gets the three count. Oh, leg sweep into a cover one. And referee Kevin Quinn right there. Whoa. Oh, nice exchange. And what a move by Anthony Green. An amazing exchange between these two. All right, all right. I'll give some credit where credit's due. I'll tell you right now, Anthony Green, A.J. Saint, this show is off the hook right now. A.J. Saint, of course, the former moniker of Anthony Green, no longer wanting to go by that name. He's all good is what he told me. And Cam Zigarino, of course, we've seen him once before trying to make a name for himself here in the Cruiserweight Division of ECW. There's a shoulder block. Nice shoulder block, nice shoulder block. It's up to the other side, another go. one. There you go, put your weight into that. Zigarino looks like uh, to be a little bit bigger physique-wise than Anthony Green, and he's utilizing that advantage. Blocks the hip toss there, and the go-behind into a backslide, and Green is down there's the cover to it. Almost oh, got the three. Close, close only counts oh, and more and hand grenades, my friend. Beautiful drop kick by Zigarino there. It's fun to just say his name, Zigarino. Zigarino. Falls into the corner, monkey flip out, and AG, all good, Anthony Green is in trouble. I gotta get used to this new name. I think he's going for a leg, spinning leg kick maybe you there. You can't get too cocky, you can't get too fast. You pace the match out, I'll tell you that right now. Too much, too soon. And, oh, Green charged in, rookie mistake. There you go. Work on the arm a little bit. It's not about being the king of the high spot. I'll tell you that right now. Couple of arm drags by Zigarino now has him with the advantage in an arm bar. Green in trouble. Referee Kevin Quinn right there. But I tell you, this is the kind of action you see on live wire. Some of the best cruiserweight division right now. Some of the young up and coming wrestlers right here. Oh, and oh, reversal by Zigarino. Not Very bad, well not done. Bad. 
I give the boys some credit. I'll tell you that right now, Mark he, Green. He's definitely been the aggressor in this match so far. Anthony Green having trouble getting on track. And now the crowd, I don't really know who they're getting behind, honestly. Brother, let me tell you something. Wakefield still looks ugly today than it did 13 years ago when I debuted here. Oh, jeez. Here we go. There's a reversal by Green and a power oh, slam. Oh, nice power slam. There's something you don't see in a cruiserweight match all too often, but only gets a two count as a result. Where the hell did you get that referee? That's referee Kevin He's Quince, got no hair on his head. Senior official in, NW, in sorry, VCW. Having you out here made me think of the old NWA in New England days. Cigarino follows in, gets a boot to the face for his efforts, and now Green off the top of the shoulder. Oh, nice second, shoulder sorry, block. Second nice turnbuckle shoulder, block. shoulder block. There's the cover. Two and. And Cigarino I with have the kick to admit, out. this action is off the hook right now. What a way to open up live wire. This is incredible action I'm seeing right now. And this is only the first week. Unbelievable. And we still have a title match to come later on tonight. There's the cover, too. Kowalski roll there. Only got a two count, though. And a drop kick by Anthony Green as he continues to try to get back into this match after an early onslaught by Zigarino. Incredible matchup. I got to give these two guys, they got heart, they got hungry, they're hungry right now. They want to make it to the top. The only way to do it is to get a W in the win column on Livewire. And Zigarino in the corner moves out of the way, and Green catches nothing but the steal. Follows him with a clothesline now. Zigarino trying to put this one away. Elbow to the chest. And he says he's making it rain. Making it There's rain. There's a drop kick. He's got a haircut like Peter Brady. Well, it, yeah, there definitely is a clean cut look about him, that's for sure. Looks like he's going for a, no, DDT. Look, no. Oh, that was a rude awakening there. Reversal. He's going for a next. Oh! oh. oh. Looks like a wow. Anthony Green. So I got to get used to Anthony Green. These men are pushing agency. themselves to the limit right now. Cover two. Again. It's anyone's game at this point. You, one, two. Again, Zigarino kicks out. And that's the thing with these cruiserweights. There's not a lot of body mass behind them usually. They really have to get their opponent down to get a three count. A lot of this action is staying on the mat, not off top of the ropes or anything. These guys are doing a great mat game right now. Go behind and out. Off the ropes. Bulldog off the ropes. That's Spinning gotta be dog. it. Two and three. He gets it. And that is Ham it right Zigarino there. with the victory. <laughs> And now he's got a, so kind of a variation of a sleeper hold almost. He's got that arm across the carotid and now across the head as well. I tell you, once the monster Bugsy Stone gets in there, he's going to clean house. And now Bare Knuckles barely able to turn into it to alleviate the pressure. Look at Bugsy. He's looking up in the sky. What is he looking at? And a reversal by Burley sends Michel Malina to the other side. He holds on, but Burley follows wow. him with the clothesline, sending him over the top rope. There we go. And Burley gets the ref distracted, allowing Bugsy Stone to get in there and get some cheap shots on yeah. Michelle Moulet. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? What is going on? Referee Doyle Patterson not taking it anymore from oh, Bare Knuckles. You should disqualify the referee. That was uncalled for right there. That was uncalled for. Doyle Patterson laying down the law. You don't put your hands on the officials. He's in the officials. The officials shouldn't put their hands on the wrestlers. And now, but the knuckle busters, the, the, the headline here is that the knuckle busters have Where did they get control. these officials, Mark Green? And Big Bugsy Stone is now the legal man. A big double, double, double axe handle. I bet he can't do that to Bugsy. How do you think Bugsy would react if the, the glam were to kiss him? As we've seen him. I don't think he would react good at all. Several of the other opponents in recent matches. I don't think it would face him. I think he would just destroy them. And Dan Terry cheering on his partner, trying to get back into the uh, competition here. Michel Millet clearly isolating the knuckle buster side of the room. That is not where he wants to be. Oh, and a little bit of taunting there, too, about the. Oh, here we go. There's Bare Knuckle in the corner. Yeah, he's evening up the score right now. I just they deserve that after what the referee did. Dan Terry attempting to encourage his partner, Michelle Millet, by telling him, come on. You yep, take there a was a tag. Before. It was official. Bare Knuckle's back in the ring right now. The, the Knuckle Busters are taking control. The official had his back turned during that tag, though. And there they go. Another double team, double clothesline by the Knuckle Busters. These guys are an accomplished tag team here. No doubt about it. Not just in BCW, in promotion. Throughout New England, these guys are a great team. 
And they are a very formidable challenge for the great looking athletic man. Oh, Burley drops the shoulder. Knocking all the wind out of Michelle Moulet, whose underwear is now coming down. Revealing, I, you know what, I don't even Of course want you would notice that. I don't even want to know what's going on there. She's choking him out across the ropes. And the Brotherhood has now noticed the undergarments of Michelle Moulet as well. Yeah, there's some taunting by the Brotherhood in the, at ringside. The, the Brotherhood clearly here to uh, keep an eye on what Glam is doing, and they're having some fun with it. Oh, Bugsy with that big headbutt. I tell you, that's one of the hardest heads in pro wrestling, man. He hit Bugsy with that. Forget about it. It's like straight concrete hitting your head. It's unbelievable. Another one. Another one. And he's calling for it again. He winds up. And oh, oh, man, that was one. devastating. And he's uh, taunting Dan Terry. And he's up like, in the air, man. He's looking like around. Bugsy looks like he got well, lost. I think he lost second. concentration. Looks like totally losing his focus. I don't know what's going on here. So he's hearing else. voices. The voice is in his head. And Michelle Moulet takes advantage. Drop kick to the knee. And that's one way to ne negate the size advantage of the knuckle busters. And Michelle Moulet trying to get to the corner. Desperately needs a tag. Dan Terry is loose and ready. And there's the tag. Dan Terry in the ring and he's waiting. Oh, and he charges with the reverse elbow. And a big drop kick. Dan Terry wearing out bare knuckles Burley right now. And Burley ducks the clothesline and that's a charge should be. Flying shoulder block by Burley, showing the athleticism there. Wow. And Dan Terry's advantage was short lived as bare knuckles Burley quickly put the kibosh on that offensive flurry. And now he's telling Bugsy to get into the corner. And Bugsy putting that big head oh, in the corner. Great move, great move. Right there. reversal by oh, Terry. Oh, no. Reversal by Terry, and Burley goes straight into the noggin. Oh, Bugsy no. Bugsy's starting out no. there, Terry. Oh, no. Sit out slam. Oh, no. <laughs> Sit out side slam, I should say. And now he's double A off the top. That's going to be it. The cover and the double cover. Two and three. They, oh, I can't it. believe that. Glam retains the Tag Team Championship. Here are your winners and still VCW Tag Team Champions. The Tag the Team great looking Athletic Man. Uh, a la Dick Murdoch. Look at him holding him up there. Is he holding him by his Murdoch? No. <laughs> Devastating suplex. You turned the heat up on Fahrenheit there. Yeah. He's got him on the run, too. If Fahrenheit hits him with that patented Mercury rising, this thing could be over. But um bum bum. <laughs> Uh-oh, he seems to Fahrenheit seems to be tiring. Or dizzy from all the circles. He obviously planned that spot early in the match. He was running circles around the ring, yeah. planning for that very moment. Very intelligent move. He seems to be running out of him. gas, though, early. That's the type of stuff that'll cost you later on in the match, Commission. Well, I just think he's challenging his cardio right here. I don't think he's running out of gas. What a manly yell from him. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at these guys and I think, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of a young Jim J. Fahrenheit. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the type of action you're gonna get here each and every week on LiveWire. LiveWire.com, Bell Time VCW on Facebook and Twitter, and Bell Time Productions on YouTube.com. You can watch all this exciting action. Of course, only this show you're gonna hear us call it. So you might actually stay away for a few matches here. Because this is let's let's face it, let's not be let's not be totally stupid. These guys are both pretty good wrestlers. These are two tremendous young wrestlers. I just don't understand why they're in VCW and nothing happened in well, company. Well the brilliance of VCW, they bury him on the card and put him on the first well, Naturally, half of the show. naturally. Well, Bo Douglas has to wrestle. Yep, I'm sure him and Joey Rage will be in the main event. The human's food stamp, Bo Douglas. He was a wiggler before it was cool. Yeah. And long after, too. And long after, right, exactly. You like that 
nerd chick walking around here? Some chick. Oh, Feeny? I thought Feeny. No, no. I'm not a big Feeny guy, no. There's some girl over there dressed up like a nerd for Halloween. and uh, Oh, I like her, yeah. They got some slow moving calendars here in Maine. <laughs> Hasn't been turned over to November yet. Either that or she could be a real live nerd. This lousy March weather just kills her. <laughs> Horrible. You see Superman? I bet you can see Superman from the hard cam yep, across the room. Superman's ring. here. He is. And you know what? Ever since they got rid of those phone booths, Superman just hasn't been, hasn't the, same. been the same. He doesn't since, look the same. Since he invented his cell phone, he doesn't look the same. I, w- I don't think he, would, he, he shouldn't be anywhere near any speeding bullets. <laughs> Good luck to any locomotive that comes in here, though, I'll tell you that. They wouldn't book a locomotive here. No freight. You won't be seeing freight training at night. No. He's not going to come here and drink Mountain Lion soda. <laughs> if they had real Coca-Cola here, he'd be drinking it. See, now Hall's the mounting and controlling Fahrenheit. We've been wanting to do that for a long, we've been wanting to do that for a long time, Commission. Control Fahrenheit? And mount him. Oh. Oh, devastating. If you control Super. Fahrenheit, you control the world. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, Fahrenheit does press conferences and stuff on LiveWire.com. You can go watch him on there. Why? Maybe he'll yell That's, that. Maybe he'll yell that. That yel, that yelpy little yell that he yells. That might be worth that tuning in. Pimply voice to yell it is. Yeah. You know, usually you see him in tag team. If you, if you see him on an ECW. Him and Mikey Webb will be here later tonight with a former ECW tag team champs. Mikey Webb's a tremendous athlete. You know? He is. Yeah. That's the thing about VCW. They bring you a lot of people that are a former something or another. Right. Nobody is currently anything. Right. Right. A lot of former stuff happening here at VCW. A lot of formers and maybe some days. Yeah. And will you work for pizza? Right. <laughs> Winner gets two slices. Loser gets three. Loser has to stay. Right. Loser has to stay for the whole show. I gotta admit, this will be the first show I've stayed for, though. Nice maneuver. Paulson now plants him nicely. Going for the pin now. One, two, and. Three for a human. Three, two, two and a half for Rob Tuttle. You know, when Feeney leaves the ring, you think they can't possibly have any better looking employees than that. And out comes Rob Tuttle. Out comes Rob Tuttle and throws. You Very can't agile, have... Rob Tuttle. Oh, he is. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> ta 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 ta. Fahrenheit now. He's, he's got the back now. He's still got a handful of singlet. Nicely done, Hollis. Oh, back le belly. Souple. Wow. He threw him clear across. Great out cross. Right off what the a ring, devastating man. matchup this is, seriously, though. Surprisingly enough, seeing it right here at VCW. You never know. You throw enough stuff up against the wall. Some of them stick sooner or later. Uh oh. That's the booking style here. And I love it. Oh, oh nice. Devastating move. That should do it. Here's your winner, the VCW Livewire Champion, Nick. Well, those are the complete list of the top matches of 2013, Sean. All of them, quite a few Mike McCarthy uh, matches. And they, of course, proud to be announced that he is now a member of the Brotherhood. But that being said, Sean, I had fun 
taping this countdown special for VCW Livewire with you. I had fun watching and reliving a lot of these matches of 2013. Hope you did as well. I did. It was a great 2013 year for Victory Championship Wrestling. Chris Christmas. That's right. You know, uh, since we're done, I'm going to go just check out some of these other gifts and make sure this is you what I wanted. That. You know what? On behalf of everyone here at Victory Championship Wrestling, we'd like to all invite you to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash bell time VCW, where you can check out the polls. You can vote for your favorite match of the year, personality of the year, and other categories. You can all check out our 2014 events at vcwlivewire.com. Now, from all of us here at Victory Championship Wrestling, we'd like to wish you all a happy holiday. Oh. Happy holiday, that put a naughty hat on my head. We'll see you next time. Chris Charisma here to remind you you can stay involved with VCW by getting interactive. On our website at vcwlivewire.com, you can like us on Facebook, or you can follow us on Twitter. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Productions. Stay involved with VCW by getting interactive.